Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, I want to thank all the people who subscribed. We had 10 new subscriptions since our last video. Uh, so we are at day nine of our cover crop and I'm standing right on top of that row of cow peas. Uh, beautiful cow peas. Uh, we have the rows of sedan. They're all marching perfect there. Uh, the soybean row, where are the soybeans at? So there's a soybean row, and they are awful slow. Uh, they get a little bit better when we get down to that far end down there. But the soybeans have all had a problem coming this year. I'm not sure what's up with that. Our seed might have been lacking a little bit. But the, uh, here in the cover crop field. So I want to talk about the benefits that I am getting out of this field uh, this year. Uh, obviously, you know, our things have to be economically viable. Uh, so I want to just count the returns or the things that I am driving value from in this field this year. So first of all is the wheat crop. Uh, the wheat crop did have protein, did have test weight, we got it cut. And so it will uh, most likely be human consumption, uh, quality grade wheat. Uh, second crop was the straw. Some of that straw will be sold into a high value market, uh, but a bulk majority of it will stay here on the farm and become the bedding and the manure for next year's crops. Uh, the third benefit that I want to get out of this field is some forage production for my cattle and uh, this field uh, we planted I don't know if I'll show you that clip but I no-tilled with my Kenzie planter into wheat stubble on the hill and uh, got a perfect stand on that uh, we did have an inch 30 of rain last night and so my son is happy again uh, because he's got a rainy day off and the 4th of July is coming up and we're probably going to go buy some fireworks. But back to the benefits of this field. So we've got the forage production uh, as the third benefit uh, for the cattle. And the, the final benefit that I want to get out of this field is I want to get some soil building and improvement of my soil tilt. And so by interceding, you know, the Sudan, I get some forage production but I also get uh, annual weed suppression and uh, the soybeans and the cow peas boy the cow peas came good the soybeans and the cow peas will loosen the soil and they will obviously fix some nitrogen uh, and they will also they, they do something uh, legumes do something to a soil that uh, I don't know you know it uh, feeds the microbial life or I'm sure there's you know more scientific explanations for what they do but they loosen the soil and they do a lot of good for the soil and uh, uh, they uh, this is about the right ratio uh, for me that I have found that I like uh, we've got uh, two rows of sedan and then a row of a legume and another two rows of sedan and a row of legume uh, if I do come to chop this, you know, I will be able to chop uh, a row of legume with a row of sedan and the same thing, you know, be able to follow that pattern across the field. And so I get a good mix of the forage. Uh, if you hay it, obviously, you know, with a nine foot swather, you're going to get a good mix of the forage in each bale as well. But uh, the legumes here do something to loosen the soil and to stimulate the soil and stimulate the microbial activity. And uh, it's very pleasant to me to see, uh, this is the first time I've planted cow peas, you know. Uh, it's very pleasant to me to see, even with our uh, brutal heat uh, that we've been having lately, the cow pea apparently loves heat uh, right along with the sedan. So... Uh, thanks guys for all your support and, uh, we'll talk to you later.